On board the International Space Station and the Destiny Laboratory, the Expedition 16 crew, Peggy Whitson, Yuri Malenchenko, and Garrett Riesman, watching a uh, television feed being uplinked to them of the launch of their successors, and for Riesman, his new crewmates, Volkov and Kononenko. Volkov uh, on the left side of your screen, Kononenko on the right at the T-minus four and a half minute mark. Purge. The engine combustion chamber is now being purged uh, with nitrogen. This is the precursor to the booster tanks uh, being pressurized for flight at the T-minus two minute thirty second mark. The International Space Station has just passed the equator, moving from southwest to northeast. The Soyuz ready to begin its chase to catch up to the station for docking on Thursday morning. Flush two. Ready. T minus three minutes and counting. The parents of So Yun Yi watching from uh, the VIP viewing stand at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Pressurize. The booster tanks on the Soyuz now being pressurized for flight at the two and a half minute mark. All systems are go for launch. T minus one minute, 45 seconds, about 45 seconds away from the Soyuz going on internal power. The automatic launch sequencer will be switched on and the first umbilical tower will separate from the booster. Coming up on the T-minus one minute mark. The first umbilical tower now moving away. T minus 34 seconds. The second umbilical will move away from the Soyuz at the T minus 15 second mark. T minus 15 seconds standing by for main engine ignition. Start. T minus five, four, three, main engine start. 
two, one, zero, and liftoff. Immediate liftoff. Liftoff of the next residence of the International Space Station. The Soyuz has cleared the tower. Pitch and roll program initiated according to flight controllers. Soyuz heading on the proper trajectory and azimuth for its two-day chase to reach the International Space Station. L plus 20 seconds. Everything is nominal. Combustion chamber, chamber pressure is nominal. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and its single first stage engine. Plus 50 seconds. Nominal. Launch vehicle parameters are nominal. On board, everything. The Soyuz now reaching maximum dynamic pressure as it leaves the first traces of Earth's atmosphere. Plus 60 seconds. Uh, all of the yaw pitch and roll are nominal. 70 seconds, nominal. Plus 80, control uh, system parameters for the launch. At the uh, two-minute mark, uh, the four strap-on boosters will be jettisoned. They will have completed their job and will drop away at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. Everything in good shape on the Soyuz. Seconds. Thrusters are stable. One ten roll pitch and your nominal. First stage separation. Side thrusters and stage one separated. Feeling fine. Every that effect of the uh, strap-on boosters falling away called the Cross of Koryov, the legendary uh, general designer for RSC Energia. Nominal, other parameters are nominal. One fifty seconds. Inside uh, the Soyuz TMA-12, a gentle ride so far for Sergei Volkov and Oleg Kononenko, joined by So Yun Yi. Copy and confirm. Feeling fine. Everything is nominal on board. Copy. Now traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour, the Soyuz second stage performing as advertised. Eri Dani uh, is controlled descent on. Yes. Sending the R-13 command now. Copy. Yeah, we can see Sayong. Waving and a thumbs up from the youngest woman ever to fly in space, So Yun Yi, the 29-year-old South Korean researcher en route to the International Space Station. 200 seconds. Uh, stage two thrusters are nominal. Two hundred and ten. Launch vehicle is nominal. Four minutes into the flight, the second stage continues to perform as advertised. The uh, core booster will burn out a short time from now and separate at an altitude of 105 miles. That will uh, set the stage for the ignition of the third stage. 250 seconds, roll pitch in your nominal. 